But I have to say that much of this will not be possible unless we bring this war in Iraq to a close. You know, my job, my job, my job as Commander in Chief will be to keep you safe. And I will not hesitate to do what's required. I will do whatever is required. I, I won't hesitate to strike against those who would do us harm. But keeping you safe means equipping our troops properly, training them properly. It means putting them on proper locations. It means treating our troops properly when they come home. No more homeless veterans. No more patients with disability patients. But it also means using our military wisely, and the war in Iraq was unwise. It will, by the time it is over, it will have cost us over a trillion dollars. A trillion with a T. It's costing us $10 billion a month. Imagine what we could have used that money for here in the United States. More tragically, it's cost us thousands of lives, thousands more grievously injured. It distracted us from the war against terrorist networks in Afghanistan. It has not made us more safe. That's why I opposed this in 2002. That's why I will bring it to an end in 2001.
can see my opponents realize they don't have a better argument. So what they're now saying is, well, what, I don't know about Obama. You know, you, we, 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 gotta, we gotta know more about him. And then, you know, he doesn't wear a flag pin. His former pastor said something. And he, he, he's got to, you know, we don't, we don't know what his values are. We don't know if he's patriotic. We, he's got a funny name. My mother had me when she was a teenager. And my father left when I was two. So I was raised by my mom and my grandparents who grew up in small towns in Kansas. And they grew up during the Depression. They didn't have a lot. He and my grandmother were able to buy a home through an FHA loan. And my mother, when she became a babe, she was able to go to college because of financial aid. And she was able to give me the best education in the world, despite the fact that she wasn't wealthy. And I was able to stand here now at the United States Senator as a Michelle's got the same story. She grew up on the south side of Chicago. Her parents never went to college. Mom worked as a secretary. Her, her, her dad worked as a, as a city worker. They lived in a tiny little house on the second floor of somebody else's home. But you know, she got the best education in this country had to offer. And she now could end up being the first lady in the United States. My patriotism is rooted in the fact that my story, Michelle's story, it is not possible anywhere else on earth. But the American dream, despite this country's imperfections, has always been there. That idea that each of us can grab for, for, for that dream. Grab, grab for what others might not believe is possible. That there are ladders of opportunity. That all of us can climb. That we're all created equal. That we're all endowed with certain inalienable rights. Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. That we are willing to defend those liberties. <laughs>